Hi guys, so I am back with another video today. I am in fact at school, so thumbs up for being at school. So in this video today, as you can tell from the title, it is another Disney video, which I'm going to say I'm going to be posting quite a few Disney videos um, upcoming, but I'm also going to be doing my regular videos, so I do want to tell you that I'm going to be posting my Disney adventures on this channel as well. Um, I hope that doesn't bother you. If it does, I'm really sorry, but at this time I am not making a second channel, um, just due to personal decisions, so yeah. One of my friends in the group um, on the Disney College program, um, who actually is a vlogger as well, I'll link her down below, uh, Lau, she is um, attending the Disney College program in California, and she filmed the Disney tag and tagged me and a bunch of other people who I'll also link down below um, to do this tag. So I'm so excited and there are a lot of questions. So without further ado, let's get started. Question number one is a scene in any Disney movie that you wish could you could. So the first question is a scene in the Disney movie or a Disney movie that you wish you could experience. Um, okay, so I'll just state the obvious one, the one that everyone says, um, which is the one from Tangled, um, the scene with the lights, the, the floating lanterns. Oh, I wanted to see that so badly, guys. Like, it is insane how much I want to see that. Um, but I guess another scene that I wish I could see was the scene from Up when Carl goes up in, with the house with the balloons. Um, that would be so cool. It would be a total whole Instagram. That's a lot of likes, guys. Just saying. Um, so I would definitely want to see that because, I don't know, you never see houses go floating by every day. So, yeah. Question number two is what is an unforgettable experience that you had at the park? And, you know, I'm trying to think of some have one in particular but you know I'll just go ahead and say a different one um, when I was in sixth grade we went to Disney California Adventure and I hated roller coasters I never wanted to go on upside down ones nothing 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 well I went ahead and went on the upside down roller coaster for the first time in Disney with my dad and right before I was like dad I do not want to go on this like I don't want to go I'm just gonna you know leap over and be like Peace out, I'm not going on it. <laughs> but he was like, no, you're going on it. So we made a bet. He was like, I bet you 20 bucks that if you go on it, you will love it. Um, and I was like, yeah, right. Guess who lost $20? Um, so that was such an amazing experience being able to ride a first upside down roller coaster in Disney in California with my dad and my cousins and my uncle. And it was just an unforgettable experience. Question number three. What non-Disney song reminds you of Disney? Okay, I had very much a lot of trouble with this, um, as I'm sure a lot of people do, um, but I think that there are two non-Disney songs that remind me of Disney songs, um, and that would have to be Pompeii um, by Bastille and um, Something About Love by David Archuleta. Number four, what was the first time, or when was the first time you went to a Disney park? So the first time I went to a Disney park was when I was four years old and my mom was on a business trip and I went with my grandma and my uncle and my mother and I had a lot of fun. Question number five is, if you could choose any character to be your BFF, who would you pick? And this is like a hard question for me, but you know, I think after last night's like discoveries, I think I'd pick Edna from The Incredibles. Nobody picks her, nobody remembers her, nobody thinks of her, but she's one sassy diva, and I need a sassy diva best friend to go along with this sassy diva -ness. So I would definitely pick Edna. Um, she's just so, mm, so cute. Number six is who is your favorite Disney princess? And this is an easy one for me, hence the shells. Um, uh, my favorite Disney princess is Ariel. Um, I just love her so, so much. Um, but, you know, when I'm with my sister, I have to say that it's either Bella or Rapunzel because Ariel's her favorite. Like, I can't have the same favorite as her. No, that's just not a thing. But Ariel is my, my secret favorite. Um, but I do really love Belle and Rapunzel. I see a lot of myself in them. 
Number seven, name a Disney scene that never fails to make you cry. So I have so many of these guys. I was thinking about it today on the walk to the library to print out stuff. But a song or a scene, I guess, that never fails to make me cry is the transformation scene in Beauty and the Beast when it's that final scene and she was like, don't talk like that, like, we're together now, everything's gonna be fine. He was like, at least I got to see you one last time, like, and then he dies, like, oh my god. And then she's like, I love you, and the pedal falls and it's just perfect timing. Um, that really, that hits home, I don't know, for some reason. Okay, question number eight. What is the first Disney movie you remember seeing? And of course I have two because I can never have one answer for a question. Well, the two Disney movies that I remember seeing as a kid, um, one was Snow White, like Lao. Um, and when I was younger, my grandma used to babysit me. I used to go to her house every Tuesdays and Thursdays and Fridays and we would always do the same things. We would go for a walk, we would play for Barbies, and we would watch Snow White. And my family always teases me that when I was um, younger, I would always say at the scene when Snow White was letting the old woman into the house, she Are you I would say, don't go in the house, don't go in the house. So I don't know why I would just say that. Question number nine, what is your favorite Disney movie? Just like everyone else, I would have to, you know, combine a lot of movies. So I would have to say The Little Mermaid, Hercules, Tangled, The Princess and the Frog. Um, I like Frozen. I love the new Cinderella movie. Um, the Rescuers. I love that one too. It's so cute. And I don't know. Question number 10, who is your favorite Disney villain? And my favorite Disney villain would have to be Gaston because I'm just in love with him, the one who plays him at the parks, I think. But, and I also like the song Me from <laughs> Beauty and the Beast on Broadway when it was on Broadway, so Gaston is definitely my favorite villain. Oh, my second favorite Disney villain is definitely Hans. Love. Question number 11 is what is your least favorite Disney movie and um, I would have to say that my one of my least favorite Disney movies unfortunately um, don't kill me wow for saying this because you said it was like one of your favorites I think or the scene that made you cry is The Fox and the Hound I don't really like that one very much um, and what's another one that I just don't like at all either Oh, Journey to Atlantis. I think that's a Disney one. I don't know. I just think that's a terrible movie. I have no interest in it. And I'm sorry if you like it. I really am sorry, but I just don't like it. Sorry. Question number 12. What is your favorite Disney song? Um, I have so many favorite Disney songs. Um, I don't think I can just pick one. But if I had to pick one... Um, God, I don't... Mm. I can't pick one. I, you know, I'm gonna link the mashup down below of the recent mashup that I've been loving and watching on repeat, literally. Question number 13. What Disney character has the similar personality to you or your dream personality? So I think a similar personality to me um, would have to be Meg from Hercules because she is so independent and she doesn't need a man. Like she clearly says in the beginning like she does not need Hercules but when she falls for a guy she falls hard and that's just how I am um, unfortunately but um, I definitely see a lot of myself in her. Question number 14. If you could change any Disney scene what would you do and why? Um, I honestly don't know. I don't think I would change any scene because the perfect as is. And then the last question, question number 15 is what Disney ride would you want to get stuck on for 30 minutes or more? And fun fact, um, I have gotten stuck on many Disney rides, um, including Pirates of the Caribbean, where it was at the point where we almost had to walk out on the water. Um, and the Haunted Mansion, a few times. We always get stuck on the Haunted Mansion. Um, always in like the knocking scene. And I'm just like, are you kidding me? Um, so definitely not on those two rides, even though I don't mind Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, I wouldn't mind being stuck on 
on Peter Pan. I really wouldn't. Or Splash Mountain. I don't know. I wouldn't mind. But one ride I would mind is It's a Small World. Like my dad, if I was stuck on that ride or if I worked on that ride, I think I would go crazy. Imagine that song on repeat all day, every day. So thank you guys so much for watching my Disney tag video. Sorry if it is a little long. I don't know how long it is, but I do apologize. I will be tagging some people, but I will be linking them down below. So, or putting your channels right up here and notifying you. So if you're tagged, tag your it. And I look forward to seeing your videos. And yeah. Okay, thank you guys so much. And I will talk to you soon. Bye, guys.